Hello everyone, this is another week kind of training video and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with uh, security filtering within GPO. Let's first understand. Uh, now with security filtering, as we already know that uh, uh, let's say security through security filtering we can do the following. Um, now as we already know GPOs, GPOs group policy objects can be applied to computers. We can apply computer settings, we can apply user settings, and then we can apply them uh, once you have these, uh, import, the, once you have, you, you have certain settings, we can apply them to SDOU, so SDOU, meaning site domain and OU, so we can apply these settings here. But when you apply to a site, it will be applied to all users on that site. Let's say site is referred to a physical place. When you apply to a domain, it will be applied to all thousands and thousands of users within a domain. When you apply to a OU, it will be applied to all users in that OU. Now, there, there might be some cases in which uh, you want to apply a policy to a certain OU, let's say a user policy to a certain OU, but only to this one user and not to everybody else. So this is where we can use security filtering. So group policy cannot be directly applied to a user or a computer, but it, by using a security filtering option, so by using security filtering option, we can apply policy of, to a certain group or we can apply policy to, see, to a certain computer and here is how it works. So I'm going to go back into here. So I'm already in GPM, Group Policy Management. I'm going to create a new policy here. Uh, let's say I'm going to create a new policy, new, and I'm going to call this uh, uh, security filtering. Security Security filtering example, and here I created this policy. Now, once you have this policy, first of all, you need to add something in that policy. Let's say, uh, let's go and add some settings here. Let's say this policy is especially for go here, window settings, or we can go into control panel, or we can go into policies, go to control panel, and here. Windows components, let's say, <clears throat> or let's say this special policy is to uh, is to make a certain policy in Windows computer to uh, to start up automatically. Uh, let's say let's go into uh, computer settings. Let me start that again one more time. So in this, we need to apply this. Go into administrative template. Go to control panel. And let's say I'm going to go here and this one display, uh, disable the display control panel, uh, disable the display control panel. Now, if we go inside this, if, we, if you enable the policy display, a control panel does not run. And when the user tries to uh, start display, a message appears explaining this. So display control panel does not run. So I'm going to say enable. And all we can do is click OK. So this is disable display control panel. So basically this setting is, if this setting is applied here and you're trying to go into change resolution, you won't be able to change anything in this. You won't be able to, this will all be grayed out as on this client is all open. Or in other words, if you go to control panel and you go to display, it should not open. So here it is, you are able to open it. So um, we have enabled this policy. So you enable this policy and we are going to apply it to, let's say, Toronto OU. So this policy is applied to Toronto OU, meaning this policy will be automatically inherited on uh, on everyone. So security filtering will be a call center manager and everyone. And now, how do you do security filtering? Security filtering is right here. That is saying that this policy is applied to Toronto OU and all authenticated users, meaning whoever is in this OU and they are authenticated will be applied to everyone. So this is what I said. Normally policy, when you apply to a certain OU, it will apply to this OU. That means that to all the users who are authenticated. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to apply the policy only to Mike. If you need to do that, you can remove authenticated user from here and you can click add and Mike. Let's put Mike here, add. And now it's saying 
that this policy is applied to Toronto OU, but it will only be applied to Mike. So let's do this, and I'm going to close this. And once it is closed, to a policy is attached. Now go on to a client machine. On a client machine, who's logged in at the moment? So here I do see administrator logged in. So let me log off and log in with user Mike. should be working now that policy was a user policy or it was a it was a computer policy let's see I'm gonna check that one more time so once that is logged in and we go to settings here so if it is a computer policy machine must be restarted if it is a user policy machine should be just free login so it's just a user policy because I don't see that anything in computer policy is empty it's a user policy so most probably policy should have been applied and let's go into control panel and within control panel I'm gonna go here change to large icons and try to open the player and as soon as you open the player you can see you won't be able to do anything and here you see a message some settings are managed by system administrator. So we successfully, we were able to successfully apply a policy on this. Now policy is only applied to my Adrian. Let's say who else is part of this for you. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go into activate the users and computer. I think Adrian is part of that group as well. Just let's make sure. So in here, in Toronto OU where the policy is applied, Adrian is also part of. So let's log in with a tagger on this machine. And this should work for a tagger. So I'm gonna go here and let's log off. And log back in again, switch user. Other user, we're gonna say e green slash a t a t t a r t hackers and log in with the network account. So once this user logged in, and since the policy is only applied to Mike using security filtering. policy and sometimes there are problems with the policy it will take longer time to uh, log in now this is this might be an indication of policy might not be working so it's, uh, and it takes longer time after login it's the policy being applied or maybe it's the first time it could be anything so now in here let's see we go into control panel again and uh, Within control panel, change to large icons so easier to see wherever we are opening. Open display. And now, here this time, I don't see any message and I'm able to change. So, meaning our policy is successfully being applied to everybody else except Mike. And it's applying to Mike because we applied the policy especially to Mike in scope. It says that it is only applied to Mike here. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to find see you in the next video.